Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're gonna talk about locomotion. That's right, how snakes move. This right here is Saturn. Saturn is a corn snake. And as you can see, she is easily climbing this tree and she's doing it very quickly. This is called a serpentine and constantina motion. And that's what they can do pretty quick. Look at her, she'll be out of reach before I know it. But you can see her. Let's get up close and take a good look at these scales gripping. You can see just how she's using her body to hold on. We're gonna talk more about this in a moment. As you can see, the snake can move, but it slips as it moves. That's where some people will think a snake is slimy. But as you can see, Saturn here is figuring out the surface and now using the serpentine motion to move forward. Looks like she's trying to find herself a wheelbarrow there. She's gonna find a little place to hide. So that's another example on what a smooth surface does. Now let's take a look at a dirt surface. Surface makes a huge difference for a snake. For example, this red corn snake, better known as Mrs. Weasley, is here with some concrete, some dirt and some grass and weeds to help her figure out what she should do and how she should move. We just might tickle her tail just a wee bit here. Still not moving, she's not sure what to do. This is also known as a red rat snake. See what she uses, what kind of traction, which locomotion is the corn snake going to move, going to use here in her move, that is. It's almost like she's climbing on the ground, just like Saturn was a minute ago, except I would say she's crawling on the ground using her serpentine motion. She forages, she's looking, maybe for some dinner, maybe a mouse walk by here. She can taste where it is. See her tongue going in and out? That's what she does to learn what's around her. Okay, let's say bye to Mrs. Weasley. Notice Saturn using her tail to anchor on this nail but now she's using the brick to climb. Let's see if she can get off that anchor there in a minute. But this is how a rat snake will get into a person's attic. They're not trying to get in there to scare anybody. They are actually looking for mice and rats because that's what also gets into attics. Saturn is finding every groove, kind of passing up some opportunities here but she's taking full advantage of that nail. Let's see if we get a close-up of the nail and the anchor there, how she wrapped her tail around that anchor. She's still doing the climbing, we'll see. But if she slips and falls, she will be good to go and not fall because she's anchored. This is what sometimes happens when you're holding a pet snake. They will actually anchor onto your finger or your arm maybe, and they're just holding on. Oh, she's trying to get away from the anchor. Let's see if she can do it. Cross your fingers, boys and girls. Look 
at her go. Loosening up a little bit. Not so sure she can make it. This is not an easy climb for a pet snake. A wild snake, a little bit better. using every inch of her body trying to support herself. She's not sure what she's going to do here. She cannot figure out these bricks. This is her first time to ever try climbing on bricks, so it's all natural instinct. Climbing snakes, such as the corn snake and the rat snake and the carpet python of Australia, various other ones, really know how to hold on to small, tiny surfaces. Unlike the slick floor, this snake is able to use her serpentine and concertina motion both together to try to lock on and move effortlessly. Oh boy, she's struggling. Imagine how hard this would be with just your fingertips. Think about climbing these bricks and not being able to do anything. The nail wouldn't do a human much good. Well, she might slip and fall. Let's wait and see. Everybody rooting for her? Hoping she doesn't fall. Oh, looky there. See how she slipped and fell? She anchored herself and she never hit the ground. That's what that anchoring's all about. This is a Colombian boa constrictor. His name is Sandy. See if we can get him to move a little bit. It's kind of sitting there like a bump on a log. And they use a rectilinear movement usually. So they can move in a perfectly straight line like most boas and pythons. Let's see what kind of movement we get here. So if you move straight side to side, what might we get? little side note about the Colombian boa constrictor. See how light the head is there. You can come around there and look at the body and look at the beautiful saddles as we get around. And then when you get to the end of the tail, much darker. Like you saw the corn snake anchor a little bit ago. This is what the boa constrictor does. It anchors with that tail along the tree branch so it can actually catch food. Look at Sandy in that straight line. That's what we're talking about right there. Good job, Sandy. Here we are with Tuba. I call her Katie Tuba because she's a rescue from Katy, Texas. See that straight line movement? That is what these snakes, pythons, this is an African ball python. It's what they're known for doing. It's moving in that straight line. Look at her using some serpentine movement with her rectilinear movement using both together. You will see this quite often with the three main movements. It's kind of disappearing here underneath the shelf. Let's see what we can find there. Come here, girl. That's a good girl. Okay, that's a good girl. 
Now you can look at the movement really, really carefully here. Watch how her scales move along the floor. See those bones move backwards and forwards. See it pull together. That's that serpentine movement we're talking about here. Down to the tail. Goodbye, Tuba. Okay, now we're looking at Reuben. Reuben is an albino Burmese python. Reuben is not little. He's about 10 feet long. And we're gonna see if we can get some straight movement with them where they're actually crawling with the bones on the inside of their body. Rectilinear is the movement we're talking about right now. And he's just not doing very much, is he? I think he's more interested in seeing what I'm doing. We can look at him from this side over here. He's being a little bit curious. So we can catch some sideward motion here. That's a good boy. Oh, it's coming out. Look at here. He's like, what are you doing to me? What is going on here? There he is. Looking at the camera. He's looking at you. Saying, I'm a pretty boy. People love me. Not doing much movement. We moved Reuben to a different area where he just might want to crawl in this rectilinear motion a little bit more. We'll see if we can get up close and personal to these scales down here. See how those scales are going forward? Coming back, we want him to go forward. Everybody say, Reuben, can you please go forward? We're not trying to go back. What is going on here? Trying to show locomotion. And he's like, well, I'll do exactly what I want to do. I'm Reuben, and people love me. So you can see with the front side of his body now that he's using these scales and stuff. See where they're together. Now he's crawling on his own body. Now see those scales? Look at them going forward and backwards. right over his own body. Can you see how he's actually using the locomotion? That rectilinear motion is actually in a bit of a curve here, but it's still the exact same forward motion with the bones going forward, then backwards. He take paused a little bit here. There he goes again. See those scales crawling along the ground. Picking up speed a little bit here.
what's he doing on the other end, I wonder. Let's see if we can figure out what this boy's doing. Where is that head to this boy? There he is, trying to climb a fence. You're not a climbing snake, per se, but most snakes can climb. All snakes can swim. And they swim very, very well. Now that skin just crawls right over. For locomotion, the snake needs muscle, needs cartilage, tendons, and most importantly, the bones and skin working together to climb and crawl. They do this all very, very well. Oh, Reuben here is really moving for us now. Hopefully you can see this rectilinear movement so much better. All the way down to the tip of his tail. Everybody say bye, Reuben. As he slowly goes out of sight.